For e-commerce stores, email marketing is incredible. There's no shortage of studies that'll tell you that. But today, I don't want to show you any studies. I want to show you real results on two foundational email marketing automations that add revenue to any e-commerce business that uses them. That is, of course, the abandoned cart email follow-up and the browse abandonment follow-up. Not only do I want to explain what these are in detail, but I want to give you some peace of mind for anyone trying to set these up on their own. Email marketing uh, can live rent-free in your head pretty easily. Uh, the list you have is super valuable. It's really nerve-wracking. You don't want to get marked as spam or bother people. And when it comes to automations, sometimes it feels like it gets out of control. So maybe it's just going to send too much or it's going to send all the time or maybe a technical glitch happens. It just, I want to show you our method, our time delay and the results we're getting with it, click through rate and, and revenue generated to give you some peace of mind that, Hey, this is where you can start and hopefully get a lot of value out of it. I'm Connor Burse. I run a digital marketing agency and I have a team dedicated to e-commerce email marketing automations or otherwise. So the data we're gonna be looking at today is real data up to literally today. So let's hop into Klaviyo, the email marketing platform we particularly love to use, and we'll set the stage a little bit on what business we're taking a look at. So let's hop into Klaviyo, and you can see here we're looking at the last 90 days of data, and this is a relatively small e-commerce shop. They do about $90,000 a month, give or take, and overall, our email marketing efforts generate roughly 19% of their revenue. The two flows, the two automations that I want to talk about today, the abandoned cart and the browse abandonment, make up about 5% of that 19%. Not only is that 5% uh, revenue coming from these two automations, uh, the amount of emails we send are actually relatively small. So take a look at this. Right here, we have our abandoned cart data and generate about 12, just under $13,000 in the last 90 days. But look at the dollar per recipient. We're at $6.53 for every email we've sent out using this automation. So if you're looking for peace of mind that, hey, am I bothering these people? Are these low value emails? No, this is the highest value email you can possibly send to anyone on your, uh, on your list. $6.53, that includes every not open, that includes every single person who just didn't buy. That's the average money earned per email sent. Now the other one I wanna take a look at is our other extremely high value email. It made a little bit less money. We're looking at the browse abandonment. It made just under $2,000, but for every email we send out, we earn $2.48, almost a $2.50. These are exceptionally high value emails to very few people who actually um, qualify to get the email. So let's hop into the first one, the abandoned cart email. Flip over here and I'm, I'm zoomed in a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see, but the idea with the abandoned cart email is that when someone starts checking out, but then doesn't, we wanna follow up with an email that has the contents of their cart going, hey, did you, did you forget this? This is where the debate comes in. Should we offer them a discount code? How quickly should we send it? Uh, what's the subject line look like? How much do you customize it? So I, I want to go through our particular flow here that uh, obviously generated that almost $7 per email sent. So we have the trigger, obviously, when someone started checkout. And probably most people who aren't familiar with this will think, okay, how are you getting their email address? Well, we'll get their email address when they've gone through checkout enough to input their email. Most checkouts have phases, so you'll enter in your email address or make them sign up for an account. And if they say, hey, I'm okay to receive marketing emails by checking that box, this is good to go now. The other way we can do this is if someone's already checked out in your e-commerce store, then as soon as they start checkout, not even gets past entering their email address, uh, and honestly, they don't have to be logged in if we have the cookie on their website still, uh, we can trigger this earlier in the process. So the more people check out, the more you're tracking them, the more you can get people into this funnel. So we're big believers that after someone triggers that, someone goes into checkout but doesn't check out, wait four hours, all right? And you'll notice here we have flow filters. That, you have to put in a filter to basically you know make this work. So what happens is every time someone goes into this automation, 
they get, or it goes into checkout, they get put into this automation, and then we tell the email marketing program to skip anyone who checked out. So we'll see that when we get into the results a little bit. So basically everyone who comes through starts, everyone who started checkout will wait four hours and then we filter them out and send them the first abandoned cart email. And you'll see here, we'll, we'll avoid the results for a second, but you'll see we're waiting on seven. So that's seven people in the waiting period. There's no one review. You can mark people like high value clients that maybe you don't want to bother with. We don't have any right now. Um, and then we have the delivered in the time frame, but then we have skipped. And skipped are people who don't qualify to send out the abandoned uh, cart email because they probably checked out or maybe they went back and started shopping more. That's another way that you can kind of filter it out a little bit. So we've sent it to 633 people and we've skipped 3,041 people. It's really, really important to make sure that you're filtering out people who don't need to receive your abandoned cart email. If you send it out to everyone, they're gonna get really annoyed, uh, especially if you send it out to someone who did check out, that's the worst, when they're like, hey, you forgot this in your cart. Well, you know, they email you back, oh, well, I already, uh, I already checked out. So really important, make sure we're only sending to the right people, and check this out. In the last 90 days, 69.2% open rate, and then a 25% click-through rate. We're looking at 9% of these people went through and placed an order. And this is four hours after they didn't place an order, they left the website. So there you go, $7,650 generated just from the people who didn't check out on your website. But that's not it. We had a lot of people not check out still. Only 9% of people placed an order. So now we put them on another 20 hour wait list and we send them our second and final follow up email. This is the end of our automation. We found too many after this, and it starts to bother people and our open rates go way down. We like these automations to be super safe. So 20 hours later, we send another one, and you can see here we have 94 people waiting, delivered 572, and again, tons of people skipped because if they purchased in the time frame for these 20 hours, we do not wanna send them another abandoned cart email. So it's important that we're skipping the right amount of people. The second follow-up, as you can see, 24 hours after they start checkout, 60% open rate, a 24% click-through rate, and another 8.4% order placed on top of that other one. So now we're looking at, there's, there's where we get our total 12 grand in the last 90 days. So. If you're worried about when you're sending these emails out, we really, really preach the wait four hours and then wait the 20 hours. Uh, one thing I didn't mention here is that in this first email, we do not send a coupon code. It is just, hey, you left something, check out, please. Come back, you know you like it. On the 24 hour one, we do offer a 5% discount code to get people through the door. And you know, you don't have to do this, but look, 60% open rate for people who are 24 hours past their car abandonment, that's the last chance. Uh, we really notice the numbers really drop when you're reminding people about your car past 24 hours. So basically we're catching them 24 hours, same time of day, you know, maybe it's the afternoon lull or maybe it's late at night, they see it and they're like, hey, remember this? You're in the same state of mind as yesterday, but now you get 5% off, come on through. Works like a charm. The abandoned cart uh, follow-up email automation, I think most people are really familiar with. That's, that's an automation that is in most programs. It's, it's talked about frequently. Uh, we get a lot of questions on timing, discounts and such, but the automation that I think is really overlooked and is absolutely foundational is a similar email, but it's the browse abandonment email. So the trigger here for this one is when someone viewed a product, not when someone put it in their car and then didn't check out. It's when someone just looked at a product on your e-commerce website and then they didn't check out. So probably a couple questions there. How are you getting your email address? How are you getting the email addresses, right? Uh, well, this is gonna lose a lot of people. Uh, we do not have an email address for absolutely everyone that looks at your uh, e-commerce shop. But as time goes on, you will have more email addresses in more tracking prowess to capture when someone viewed a product. 
So maybe someone started to check out, but then they went back and looked at other products and didn't add it into their, their cart. Or maybe they bought something, something small, like $30, $40 item, and then they were looking at that $150 item. And you know we still have the tracking on the website because they just checked out not too recently. We can track that and then send a follow-up email and those people never even put it in their cart. It is absolutely incredible. Only certain email marketing programs offer this service. That's why we really like Klaviyo. This is a, just an incredible program and we, we pretty much exclusively work with it because of stuff like this. So let's get into automation a little bit. So the trigger is when someone views a product, that's it. Two hours later, we follow up with an email that says, see something you like. And it's from the brand, right? Just that's, that's it, that's the subject line. You can see here we've delivered 745 people. We've skipped quite a few people because if they add it to the car and check out, we don't wanna send it to them. We also don't wanna bother absolutely everyone who comes through and views products, right? But check this out a 65% open rate in the last 90 days, an 11% click-through rate, or just, just about 12% click-through rate, and 2.6% of those people actually check out. So that's almost two grand in this automation that, that was earned by people who didn't even add that product to their cart. And the best part is they might get this, add it to the cart, abandon the cart, because like, no, 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 no not right now. And then four hours later, the other automation will follow up with them, remind them, and maybe 24 hours later, they get that 5% discount code, and then they check out. So just from someone who was window shopping on your e-commerce store, we pushed them back into the funnel. We reminded them using an email that people love, 65% email rate, that is, or open rate. Uh, that is just you know absolutely fantastic when it comes to open rates. And then we earned them an extra almost $2,000 and then we helped boost our other automation to earn more money while we're at it. So these are the two foundational email automations that I think every single e-commerce shop can benefit from. It's the abandoned car email and the browse abandonment email. There's other automations you can do, and like I mentioned at the beginning, we're earning 19% of revenue just from email marketing. So there's a lot you can do above and beyond just the 5% that these two email automations generate for this business. So I really hope the information that we showed you today uh, helped you out in some way. I know when I was starting out building our business, our marketing agency, that having some of these time delays and some just click-through rates to compare my own results to would have been a huge, huge uh, help. If you don't wanna mess with this stuff at all and just want it done right, please feel free to reach out. We have plans for email marketing that start at $500 a month and it's white glove service across the board. We drop in plans and automations just like this and more and it, it generates revenue just about every single time. We'd love to help you out. Otherwise, I really hope some of this information gave you some value uh, give us a follow, give us a comment. I'll definitely uh, answer any questions you have in the comments. So thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you next time.